Hello everyone, welcome to part two of my manga haul for Mar uh, January through March of 2022. As you could tell uh, by the super um, planned out cut of the last video, uh, I totally intended for this to be in two parts. Um, and then I'm not just doing this because I don't have time to refilm that whole thing and make it one long video. So anyway, I was talking about Sweat and Soap. This is really, really good. I love this romance series. Very excited for it uh, to be done now and I can read the rest of it. And I have a whole chunk to read, so that's great. Then I got the first omnibus, one and two, of New York, New York. Uh, this is a new Yen Press release of this classic BL series about a police officer, I believe. Uh, I've not read this yet. Very, very excited to. I'll, honestly, I, I actually hadn't heard of this, I don't think. Um, and I just saw the artwork and went, wow, this is really, you know, clearly um, older series and I'm very intrigued by it. So super stoked to read that. Then I got volume or omnibus one, so volumes one and two of Alice in Borderland. Uh, this is a new Viz release. I read this yesterday, loved it. I watched the series on Netflix and I really, really enjoyed it. So when I heard the manga was coming, I was very excited. Uh, it is different than the series, the live action. So it's definitely worth, at, at this point at least, it's worth picking it up, uh, even if you've already watched the, sh the show because there's there's differences here already. Um, this is a Viz signature. It does not have French flaps. It's not, it's a bit, you know, floppy and whatnot. Um, so it's not like number five quality or anything, um, but it is a nice book. Then I got volumes one through three of My Love Mix-Up uh, romance series um, with the art by Aruko, who did the art for My Love Story, uh, and then Wataru Hinakura, Hinakure, maybe? Yep, my eyesight is horrible. Um, uh, is a mangaka that I believe this is their first work they've written. So uh, this is amazing. This is a series that uh, deals with a love mix-up. There's a confusion about who likes who, uh, there's misunderstandings, and it's very funny. It is very cute. The facial expressions are hilarious. I laughed so hard reading these three volumes. I cannot wait for more of this. I love the representation in this series of um, what appears to be bisexuality uh, and just like experimenting with, um, you know, different types of feelings and love and whatever. I, I just, I'm so stoked for this. It was fantastic. Then I got volume one of The Hellbound. I have not seen the Netflix series of this one. Um, I do have a first impressions coming out at some point of this. I've already filmed it. Uh, I thought this was okay. Uh, it was like intriguing enough and I probably will pick up more of it. Uh, but I had some issues with it and I had some, I don't know, like it just, it wasn't as captivating as I was hoping it was going to be. And so, I don't know, it's pretty expensive too. It's Dark Horse, uh, though there is like 300 pages in this thing, despite how thin it looks. So I don't know. It's a very nice quality release. I just, I'm just not sure where I'm going to go with this. Another very exciting new title, Skip and Loafer, Volume 1. Again, I would have bought more if it wasn't out of stock. Uh, this is fantastic. I have a first impression that's coming out if it's not already out uh, of this. So funny, so charming very like just different the characters are just they have something different about them that i've not seen before and i'm loving this i cannot wait for more this one again laughed out loud multiple times reading it another fantastic new uh acquisition madic or mad k uh i have the first two volumes volume one regular size volume two very thick uh this is uh, very disturbing, extremely gruesome, uh, sublime series about this guy who, uh, makes a deal with a, with a demon. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, he's got a bit of a fetish for, uh, a, a bit, he, he has a fetish for eating people. Um, and so he makes this deal with this demon and he ends up going down to the demon world himself and becoming a demon. And now we're kind of living in this world and trying to, um, see 
how to become the most powerful uh, demon to get some revenge, I guess. It's amazing. I do not normally like stories about demons. Um, I'm not really a fantasy kind of person, but this is so compelling. The art is fantastic. The characters are so intriguing. The dialogue is great. Like, just everything about this is so phenomenal. If you have a weak stomach, don't pick this up. It is disgusting, but really loving it. Next up, I got volume one of Laid Back Camp. This is one I've really, really been intrigued by. I love the outdoors. I love nature. I love slice of life. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this. I just haven't had a chance to read it yet. And again, this was the only one that was in stock um, when I went to buy it. Uh, because I don't want to buy just random later volumes. I want to actually know if I'm going to enjoy it before I spend a bunch of money on this series. But I'm very excited to read this. I've heard nothing but good things. We got Volume 1 of Therapy Game Restart. So stoked. This is another one that I'm just so excited about. I don't know what to do. Um, I haven't read it yet. I just keep looking at the cover going like, I'm so happy I have this. Uh, Therapy Game was one of my favorite BL that I've read in a very long time. I love the characters and I'm so excited to get more of their story. Uh, so just stoked to have this. And we got volume one of Seaside Stranger. Beautiful cover. So gorgeous. Loved this. I read this already and now I'm kicking myself for not purchasing and pre-ordering the other volumes. Um, but this was phenomenal. I really, really love this. Small town, beautiful artwork. Um, you know, uh, we met a few years ago. Now we're reuniting sort of story. And it's just gorgeous. I, yeah, I, I just really love this. Then I wanted to try out Play It Cool Guys. Uh, this is volume one. Very, very thin, uh, full color. Quite funny. It's about these really attractive guys who just kind of keep making dorky uh, faux pas in public. And uh, it's cute. It's funny. I will probably buy more because it was just so charming. Um, I really, really love the artwork in it. It's very cool looking. I will definitely do a first impressions of this one on my channel. Uh, quite expensive, but I don't know. If you get it on sale, I think it's worth it. Then I got Orochi by Kazuo Umez. This was fantastic. I loved this. Um, horror series. Obviously, there's going to be more of it. This is only volume one. And so I'm just super stoked to have more Kazuo Umez. Uh, and I will do a first impressions to talk more about this uh, at some point. Almost done. We are now on to the new and completed stuff. I got Hanachan and the Shape of the World. This was awesome so bizarre so wacky the art is fantastic i loved this uh i definitely already filmed a video about it which should be out hopefully soon this is fantastic this is just a single story i would love to see more by yotaro ueda um this was so cool super glad that i picked it up it's been on my radar for a while and then i got sadako at the end of the world Again, a singular, this is quite thin, actually, single volume. This one was okay. Uh, again, I have a video coming out about this one, but um, I don't know. I think I just had higher expectations. In terms of the art, I love it. Uh, I like the atmosphere of it. Uh, I just wish it was a little longer, maybe. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it was about these two girls who uh, Sadako kind of comes through their television, and they're in an apocalypse or post-apocalyptic world, and they're like, ooh, a new friend. And Sadako uh, is not really uh, a friend you want to have. So it's a little creepy and weird and cutesy at the same time. Then I got Robo Sapiens, Tales of Tomorrow. I read this yesterday. This is phenomenal. This was so good. I um, Somebody told me about this in my comments um, a, few, a couple months ago, I think. Sorry, I don't remember who it was, um, but thank you to whoever it was that recommended this to me because it was so, so good. I am blown away. I just thought it was going to be, you know, cute little short stories, you know, maybe a little creepy, I don't know, about um, AI uh, and, and robots in, in the future. So thought-provoking, like really, really beautiful. Art is so interesting and cool. I loved this, and I will definitely be making a video about it uh, at some point soon. I just read it yesterday, so. 
Then I got the classic collection, uh, Lupin the Third, Greatest Heists. Uh, I own volumes one through three of the old Tokyo Pop edition uh, of Lupin the Third, and I actually quite enjoyed reading those. Uh, the problem is very difficult to read because it's very faded and the text is very small. Uh, so when this was announced, I was like, yep, I'm going to buy this and uh, probably enjoy it because I don't know. It's the only time I've consumed a, a Lupin uh, story. I know there's a bunch of movies and things like that, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the manga that I do have of it and happy to have this. And I love Seven Seas classic collections. Their hardcovers are always lovely. So, And I got Little Leo by Moto Hagio. I've not read this yet. This is a Denpo release. Uh, this Denpa release is different. This is like a, like a hardboard sort of thing instead of no French flaps or anything. Um, and uh, the paper is clearly a different quality because it's very light. Uh, very, very light book. Uh, I've not read this yet. Uh, my understanding is it's about this cat uh, sort of personified uh, in certain situations. I'm not really sure, but I have been enjoying the Motohagyu stuff that I've been getting. And so I figured why not add this to my collection? Then I got a few uh, Kuma titles. Now this is the uh, Faku uh, BL or, or just, um, I think they have some GL stuff in under their Kuma label as well. Uh, so I've been trying to collect all of the Kuma stuff that I find. Uh, and so I got Kisses, Macarons, and Lonely Pie, which I've read and very, very much enjoyed. Uh, I've got You Are My Happiness and the song of Yoru and Asa. Those two I've not read yet, uh, but this one I quite enjoyed. I can see why people may not like this one. Uh, this is short stories, various uh, sexual escapades. Um, I, I thought it was pretty good. I, I, I really enjoyed it. There were a couple stories I liked better than others, but for the most part, I was like, yeah, I mean, I knew what I was getting into uh, with that. So these two I am intrigued by, ready to read them at some point soon. I just haven't gotten around to it. But Kuma titles, they always they all have the uh, slip cover and everything. These are quite nice. Uh, very heavy books, very, uh, for how small they are. Um, I, I really like the stuff they've been releasing and I would like to support them. So that's why I get those ones. Next, another Seven Seas Classic Collection, Space Battleship Yamato. I really, really loved my Leiji Matsumoto, um, uh, what was it? Queen Emeraldus. I have that from, I believe, Karansha. And this has been on my list to grab for a while. Uh, I'm just excited to read this. I, I feel like I've heard that the, it's a little confusing or it's not as well paced because I think there's a film, uh, which apparently I th I've heard is better. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I'm just excited to read more. I, I really love the artwork. And if anything else, if it's confusing to me, at least I get to look at some really cool uh, artwork. So yeah, I've wanted to get Captain Harlock I think is what it is, um, the classic collections of that, but volume one has been out of, I don't know if it's completely out of print or it's just been out of stock for a long, long, long time. So I'm not going to buy the other two if, if I can't get my hands on volume one. So next I got Furari by Jiro Taniguchi. Uh, this is a nice uh, Fanfare Opponent Mon release. Excited to read this. I think the only Jiro Taniguchi work I have is The Walking Man, which I quite liked. But I'm excited to read this. It looks very, very, you know, idyllic and beautiful artwork. Um, yeah, they're just, they're very expensive releases. They're always beautiful. They're well done. But I, you know, I, every time I look at Jiro Taniguchi stuff, I'm like, ah, do I really want to buy that uh, for that much money? And this one happened to be on sale and it's one I've had my eye on for a while. So I figured why not? And I got... Heaven's Door this is a huge release, and this one is Last Gasp, uh, the same publisher that did uh, uh, Strange Tale of Panorama Island, which I loved. Uh, artwork on this is fantastic. I did read this, a little confused. There's a short story collection about various strange science fiction-esque sort of things. Uh, this one probably will take a reread for me to fully understand what I was looking at, but the art is so cool that I honestly don't really care. Um, if I understood what, what the intention of the stories were or not. Um, but yeah, I will definitely have a review of this at some point on my channel. And finally, finally, I wish I could say thank you by Yukari Takinami. 
This is another Fanfare Opponent Mon release. I've not read this yet. My understanding is uh, that a family member is ill or dying or has died. And the daughter, I believe, because I think it's the mother who's ill, the daughter is just trying to, you know, reconcile her feelings about the kind of complicated relationship she's had with her mother and kind of coming to terms with the fact that, like, um, you know, we may have had a complicated relationship, but I still wish I could say thank you for everything you did do. And I do want to read this. Um, there's been a lot of uh, death and illness in my family recently, and so I'm feeling really uh, apprehensive about reading this. But um, yeah, I, I am looking forward to it, and it was one that's that's been on my list for a while, ever since I saw it was going to be released. Um, so yeah, I, I will get to this eventually. I just don't know if I have the uh, capacity to read it at this moment. Um, but yeah, that is everything that... I have picked up from January to March, and if you can believe it, pretty much all of that was just from March. Uh, January, I picked up like two things, and February, I picked up one thing. So yeah, there's more stuff coming. Uh, this The sale that I bought a ton of stuff from, uh, not, not, all of it, not all of it has come in yet. And so April, I should have a, a, a haul for April, potentially. Um, but if not, it might be another couple months until my next haul. If you saw something in these two videos of this haul that you uh, want to comment about, please do. If you have any recommendations based on the stuff that I've picked up and you think I like something else, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've made it through this to the end of the second video that was totally planned. Um, I don't know what happened to my phone. It just like shut off. So that's why the video is in two parts. Anyway. Thanks for watching.